Okay, new day with the Coyote Swapped Shelby and Senior, being the boss ass G that he is, was like, brother, I got you. I got you a Coyote PCM with, you know, some stuff in it so I can flash it. And this is basically a Coyote PCM BLV4. This would be what would come in a four, uh, 14 GT BLV3 would be uh, 13 GT. So, you know, if you have a 14 GT, this is what you would get manual, of course. And here we have the ARL5, which is a stock GT500 computer. If this thing wants to focus and show it's an ARL5, beautiful. So all I'm gonna do is unplug it, plug it in here, upload a file, and we'll see if the VCT actually works. The reason we think that the computer is the issue is the physical pins that have to do with VCT operation, when you trace them out in the diagrams, <clears throat> it actually does not have uh, the proper pin and pin out, meaning the, 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 the reasoning for that pin's existence is different on an ARL5 than a, a regular Coyote. So all I'm simply gonna do is unplug this guy from its connections unbolt it, put the Coyote PCM in there, load a file, and we'll see if we get VCT working again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it because I have to do just like you guys do, um, unlock things, complete it successfully, beautiful, and then I'm gonna load the same tune because it's unlocked. <laughs> so, all the same tune, so it's gonna download the current tune that's in it as the stock file, I know that. So, it's gonna take eight minutes total, download, upload, and then we'll be back to see if we have VCT working on the car. Okay, let's do this again. Key on, dumbass. There you go. Normal. So, we're looking for VCT movement. Oh, brother. Come on, come on, get out of there. I'm trying to clear out all these dumb things. Uh, there we go. I just want to make sure the steering wheel and all that stuff work. If our intake and exhaust, okay, so please work. Well, and I changed the exhaust. I'm sorry, I changed the starter. How are you guys complaining about the starter? But I changed the starter, so it takes a little while for them to come on like 30 seconds. Okay, an update on the Coyote Swap GT500. I got the VCT to work. Now, what I'm gonna do is a whole bunch of tests just to verify a whole bunch of things. This is a GT computer. I'm gonna stick the 
ARL5 GT500 computer back in there to see if VCT works. Just to see if, from my own curiosity, if variable cam timing works with a Coyote tune in a GT500 computer. So because I got VCT working on this guy, you know, previously I started it, VCT didn't work, VCT didn't even read, and it threw a bunch of circuit codes. So I thought, fuck. Circuit codes must be wiring. We checked all the wires in the back. It got 12, 5, 12 for voltage. And I'm like, all right. So if you know what a cam sensor looks like, it's in the back of the cylinder head. These guys right here, these two guys, one, the one there and then one at the bottom. Basically what they do is when the cam swings around, it has these fingers, right? And, and they're pieces of metal. So when they swing by the um, magnetic sensor, it does a cam crank correlation calculation and says... Gucci cams are timed properly. So if this car is running properly, the cams should read zero, zero. But because it's a 2015 Gen 2 intake cam, I know in my head, it's already advanced, I believe 20 or 30 degrees, I think 30 degrees. So in my head, this car is idling at 30, negative 30, zero, but the computer shows zero, zero, which is how it should. A little confusing, but once you know how the tune kind of works, You'll understand, but a couple of tests. Stick the ARL5 back in there. See if it reads VCT. Also, get a radiator in this thing so I can actually run it for a little while. It gets up to 160 really fast. So I got everything buttoned up down here. I got the belt. I got the, I got everything, you know, the boss belt, the alternator, the, the pulley. Everything's all hunky-dory, so let's get a radiator in this car. Get it filled up. Get it burped. I never noticed this. On Gen 1, it has like a little, looks like an air bleed. So now well, I'll get everything situated and see if we can get this car running a little while longer. Then I can do my tests and uh, go from there. A lot of you told me to reuse the GT500 radiator, but because of the hose connection, uh, I said, eh, I'm good, I'm good. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I've, if you've already saw it, is I upgraded to a Mishimoto radiator. Nothing wrong with a little bit of upgrade. So this uh, is a direct fit. Wow, this is nice. Let me uh, take it out of the box and show you guys. There you go. That's what it looks like. It has the uh, GT500 or S197 specific uh, mounting situations. <laughs> That's where all the little hold down bushings go. And I think on the bottom, it should have a um, like some kind of mount. I think it's these guys. Yeah, I think it's these guys. So let's go ahead and slide it in there, make sure everything works before I start putting things together. Everything once everything fits, start putting hoses on, start putting fluid in it, and uh, run it for a little while longer and do the ARL5 VCT test. And there you go, she's installed right on the mounts. Very nice, looking good, looking good. So now uh, I want to see if the fan and everything fits nicely. I want to make sure, you know, everything is as factory as possible. I don't see, I see some things here. So it could be for the fan shroud bolts. So we'll see if all that works out. But yeah, the Mishimoto radiator fits super nice. Okay, so I'm reinstalling ARL5, which is 1314 GT500. Uh, if VCT works with this, that'd be cool because that means that this is an option for manual 1314 Coyotes if you want to do VCT stuff. Um, a coyote swap, let's just say. You, let's say, let's say for instance, you're a GT500 owner, 1314. Hell, I could almost make the case at 11 to 14, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you wanted to coyote swap your 11 to 14 GT500 with a copperhead ECU, keep it manual. I think you might be able to reuse your computer, but do not quote me on that. This is not an official LUN thing. This is me 100% speculating, but this is why I do these tests. Ooh, I gotta wipe the lens. A little better. Okay, got the radiator on. Still have to work on the tank situation. But for now, I have the ARO5 computer hooked up, mass air hooked up. If this fan works, which it should, and I got VCT reading, bro, um, I'm going to be super ecstatic about that because, you know, I can then guide people in the future as to, hey, what do you need to Coyote swap a GT500? Well, you know what? Here's the parts list because I did it. So let's, uh, let's start the guy. See how everything goes. Okay. 
Do 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 do. Diagnostic data logging. Bam bam. It should start. Same tunes in it. But I want to get down to the VCT and see if VCT reads with an ARL5 computer. If it doesn't, stick the Coyote computer back in it. Keep on trucking. Where is it? Here it is. Son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> Intermittently, the Coyote computer read all the time. Now look at that. Now it reads consistently. It takes seven. Interesting because it was zero zero on the Coyote computer. And now, the fact that it's reading is wonderful. It should go back to zero. It should be zero zero. There you go. So let's go. Real trip, bro. I can't believe it's reading. VCT is reading on a GT500 computer with a Coyote tune in it. So the hardware is present. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to rev it a little bit. That's it. Right. It should go to 30. Uh, I'm going to check the codes. It should, it should need a, should be a PO315. PO315 should be present. Can't, you know, crank correlation situation. Yep. Pump A, I got that. Frank learn, relearn, pump A. No problem. Let's do a Frank relearn. So we're going to go to, is it diagnostics, vehicle functions? Functions? Yes, it's married. Yes, it's married. Well, it's not married. Yeah, it's married to the Coyote tune. And I'll have to unlock it. No big deal. At least we don't have to PO315. We don't have circuit codes on the Coyote situation. Um, on the Coyote, um, tuned in a GT500 computer. I am ecstatic, guys. You have no idea how long I've been working on this thing, up late nights, just trying to get everything situated. But um, the fact that we have VCT reading on a GT500 with a Coyote tune, with a Coyote computer, I'm happy. Maybe you can't see it in my face, but you have no idea how much, how happy it makes me that the variable cam timing works on a GT500 computer, and I have an extra computer from a GT to be able to do any vetting that I need to do. No VCT codes. The only thing is a crank relearn and a pump control circuit, which means the fuel system is triggered without the fuel pump drive module. So I can take care of that in the tune, even though I, sh I should do it properly, but I'm just gonna kill it in the tune. And I'm gonna go ahead and configure the radiator expansion tank situation properly. But for now, it's got everything, Mission Motor Radiator, it's got the fan shroud, the fan works, the stock GT500 computer works, variable cam timing works, everything works. I do have to wire up the reverse lockout to a brake switch because it's, it's ARL5 computer but with a Coyote tune. So I'm sure there's something correlating that when you press the clutch in, it releases or it actuates the reverse lockout for the T56. It's not doing it on this tune. So I'm gonna have to wire that to the brake switch so it is just constantly, you know, uh, once you hit the brake, you can then put it in reverse. But there's the final update in terms of the, the, the swap. It's done. Like I just have to just odds and ends, go drive it. Make sure everything drives well. Once it drives well, we wait. We sit, wait patiently for a power adder. Will it be a blower? Will it be turbos? If it's not gonna be turbos, it's gonna be a big old honking blower. I would love to work with a big TVS company, but I'm not in a rush for anything. I'm gonna clean all this up, make it all look pretty. And there you go. So if you want a, G, if you want a GT swap <laughs> or Coyote swap, a GT500, I suspect 11 to 14, I think I can get you a parts list and I think I can almost guide you as to how to do it if you don't want to rebuild your 5.4 or your 5.8. If you want to put a superior, better, smaller, lighter, higher revving motor in your car that is still a Ford, Coyote swap it. That's what you should do. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later.